The finals just got an update with the ranked modes, as well as the in-game store and shop items and even pay to win concerns. We have several developers chiming in on Discord to give us some big information as well as some hints. An old build that shows something kind of weird, and even more information on the actual development. We got a lot to talk about. What's up world, it's back if they're you on all things the finals. Okay, so first up, let's just get into some of the comments from the actual developers themselves. Now, I've been trying to deep dive the best I can on some of these developers in the actual Discord, because surprisingly, and for once, I'm amazed at how much the developers are actually responding to comments and actually replying to people. And there's been a ton of different developers that have gone out and kind of replied to things and elaborated on different stuff. So I've tried to sift through all these different commenters as well as all these developers in here who have commented and replied, which has led to some very interesting findings, especially with rank. So someone had a really good question here that asked, will our ranks reset with each season? And we had an Embark dev here by the name of Hydroxy. They noted here that the league ranks will reset or go down. They'll have more information likely by their second second season he doesn't know currently so as of right now that's still up in the air if the ranks will actually reset completely down to zero or if you just go down a tier which if you played apex and there's probably a few other games that do this where with each season the seasonal will set you down just to the lower rank instead of just completely resetting you however i kind of like the reset more so i feel like everybody should be reset back down so that it should be all on an even ground playing field but they also did go on here to say that your career level won't set so aside from your career rank or career level, and also aside from your battle pass level, which is also there with your ranked level, and obviously with the new seasons, there's always a battle pass reset. However, with this, it looks like you won't have your main level reset, so that will keep with each season. Also, likely if you want to check out any of these changes that might be happening to season to season, I'm guessing they're going to do some type of beta testing or PTR testing with the changes. As we've had several developers link this Embark play testing section, and this was after the actual beta ended. So my assumption is that we might see something akin to a PTR or a beta testing server. So yeah, if you are wanting to try to maybe test some of that stuff or any of the upcoming testing phases that they have for this game, I'll leave a link to this Discord server server down below that's embark testing specifically but i'll also leave a link down below to the finals discord so if you wanted to discuss anything in there now of course don't ping any of the moderators or cms or even any of the developers however if they're chatting back and forth with fans i'm sure it's perfectly fine to engage with them and yeah you might see one of your questions that you have in there or concerns but we also have some additional information around pay to win and some big cosmetic information around what's going to be happening with the battle pass as well as in-game currency now there's been a ton of discourse around this around if their game is going to be pay to win, if there's going to be in-game cosmetics that you can purchase directly with different currencies or how the currencies are going to work, if you're going to be able to use them to unlock weapons, if there's going to be weapons on the battle pass like Call of Duty does, there's a lot of concern and questioning around this store stuff as well as in-game currencies. However, we do have a direct response from one of the developers here that gives a lot of clarification and essentially the entire thing of what's going to be coming. So again, we have a message from one of the developers from Embark Hydroxate and in a reply here about weapon unlocks as well as boosters and if the weapons are going to be on the battle pass and if that weapon currency that you were able to get during beta was able to be purchasable to unlock those weapons quite quicker and faster but they did reply here saying that only cosmetics will be in the battle pass so don't worry no plan to purchase weapon unlock currency so it looks like yeah maybe the weapon unlocks as well as light medium and heavy classes are going to be a little bit harder to unlock of course they're probably going to give you medium right away off the bat so that you start with that one and then maybe it will be the three matches for all of them to unlock or essentially those three rounds in total to unlock the heavy and then the light class so it might be more difficult to unlock these things especially the weapons and the currency i'm assuming the beta will made it a lot easier to unlock this stuff as they normally have it that way However, it does look like here that you will not be able to essentially boost yourself to get those weapons faster, which is quite awesome to hear because there are games that put weapons on the battle pass or items on the battle pass and then you can basically boost or tier skip to get to those quickly. But it looks like there won't be any pay to win concerns with this or essentially being able to buy and boost yourself. Now again, I'm not here to debate the pay to win aspect of that or if it's pay to win or if it's not, but I'm just glad to hear that they're not having any boosters or weapon unlocks that you can do via the actual store because even back in the day battlefield games did this where you could essentially just unlock every weapon right off the bat if you just put some money in yeah i'm not a huge fan of that practice there so i'm super glad to hear that it's not going to be any pay to win or any of that stuff or any boosters or any stuff like that at least pertaining to in-game items aside from cosmetic now there has been a meme going around on the subreddit and this does have some significance but i'll quickly explain the kind of context around it
it basically someone made a poster saying game is good because no car racing people have been posting their own versions of this kind of like game is good because it's not a mobile game or game is good because it's not in space like starfield kind of just funny stuff like that but this does actually have some significance because even though this guy wanted to make a little funny bit here we actually do have some footage of vehicles in the finals gameplay so someone on the reddit page was actually able to find a promotional trailer for embark slash the finals two years ago and this was posted to x or twitter and you'll see in the brief footage here that there actually is some vehicles a car and a motorcycle included now it's very brief for the vehicle part itself and this might have been just showcasing what the engine is capable of or it's also possible that this was cut content and they just didn't like the flow of vehicles and they just didn't feel right for the game however it is kind of funny that someone made a meme post and the start from all this is this meme post here that was referencing vehicles being in the finals but it looks like at least at one point or another they actually did practice or experiment with vehicles in the finals gameplay so maybe even eventually we do actually get some vehicle stuff with this game it might be kind of cool to add for some side game modes i'm not opposed to it being in there or realistically if they don't really offer any combat advantages and they just are there for aesthetic purposes and less so gameplay i'm also open to that being there as well and i'm sure most people would if there was just vehicles that were kind of a disadvantage but were in the game and just having them as like a funny little bit there i don't think people would really mind that i'm glad to know that they are experimenting with things though and it showcases kind of how far this game's come and how much they've changed it and we do also have another big thing here around the development update as well as kind of how the development for this game has been running and this is kind of a crazy thing to note is that the finals development team was under a hundred people at its peak so it looks like the development studio doesn't even still have that hundred people and yeah at the max they had a hundred people working on the game it's kind of wild to think when you hear about other games and how many employees they had working on the game for example Diablo 4 had 9,000 employees and yes you heard that right 9,000 people worked on Diablo for. Now granted a lot of these employees are contractors or outside development or outsource things however it's still crazy to hear the disparity there from a hundred employees at its peak to what Diablo 4 had 9,000 employees. I'm actually really glad to hear that these smaller studios are kind of getting the upper hand now over these bigger ones as I really do think the gaming industry has kind of devolved into this bigger studio madness and it's really slowed the pace down of games but also kind of dwarfed the quality of them it seems like. I think a really good example of this is people People that played Starfield, the ones that enjoy it, I pretty sure most of them agree that if they kind of narrowed the game down to 12 planets or 20 planets rather than a thousand that the quality of the game would have improved and I think that also applies to a lot of facets of life this included what a lot of these AAA developers are way too big now and just have way too many employees that they don't need and I think that kind of showcases through especially with a lot of that recent AAA development but all in all I'm glad to hear of all the directions that the finals is going and hopefully it continues down that path if you enjoyed today's video like like and subscribe and until next one. deuces